So Daniel, again, we know the power of networking. Your network is your net worth. Uh, I found my first job through networking when I was in here in Vancouver, but still networking uh, for some students or job seekers, it feels uh, difficult for them to go and speak to people who they don't know. Do you have any strategies or any tips in terms of how to network these days? Yeah, look, I have one good liner and I also have a five-step process to go from a stranger to a referral. And we're going to try to do this in a minute so that you guys yeah. can get it. One is when you ask for a job, you get advice. When you ask for advice, you get a job, okay? You get a referral. Mm -hmm. So don't make the mistake of just going asking for a, for, a, for a referral because they're just going to give you advice on how to get a job. And that's what you're looking for. Yeah. Um, and so to me... If you think about that, then okay, like Daniel, good. That's good for you to say that you're very extroverted and you're really good at talking. No, how do I do it if I'm introverted? Okay, five step process to go from a stranger to a referral. Step number one, find commonality, mm -hmm. right? And like I said, who do you target? Target people that have the job title that you want and have been there for less than a year. Sweetest spot ever. Yeah. Then find commonality. P commonality could be like they're from your same country, uh, went to the same college, studied the same major passionate about the same things, volunteer at the same nonprofit, find commonality. Step two, make the first interaction all about them. Yeah. Not, oh, I'm Daniel, I'm studying software engineer. No. Hey, love that you've been at Disney for a year and you studied this. We'd love to hear your journey. What's been your favorite thing about them, their journey, their life, their career. People love to talk about themselves. Step three is called open the feedback loop. So as you're having that first interaction that you made it all about them, ask them for a small piece of advice. Like, hey, what book do you recommend if I want to create a cult, a better culture at work? And yeah. I'm, I'm just sharing that because a, a fellow career coach I just had lunch with shared this book with me. So what happens when you ask for advice and, and, you, and you go actually and go read the book, yeah. I can now go back and say, hey, thank you so much for that advice. I followed it. I read the book. Here's what I learned. And that allows you to close the open back, the close the loop. And now they're way more likely to help you because they can see they, oh, Daniel respects me. He listens to my advice. Now I'm way more motivated to help you further. So step number four, don't ask for a referral yet. Ask for a resume review. So, hey, thanks for the book recommendation. Here's what I learned. Here's how I'm executing it. You know, before I go ahead and apply to Disney or whatever the company there is, do you yes. mind reviewing my resume? You know, you know how competitive things is. Yes. Nine out of 10 times, they'll give you a resume review. You go and change it. And then you go back and send it to them. Once you change it, like, hey, great advice. I went ahead and made the changes. Want to just share this with you. Look, before I go ahead and apply online, is there any advice you can give me to give my application visibility? As you know, it's super competitive to work at Disney, or yeah. Google, Tesla. And I, all I am looking for is an opportunity to interview because I think I'll be great for this particular role. Yeah. And what you just did is that you asked for a referral without asking and then putting them in a referral where they feel threatened or like, who is this guy? Yeah. And very more often than not, they're going to be like, hey, use this referral link or hey, talk to this recruiter or yeah. hey, talk to this manager. And it's just going to open a lot of doors. So that's the five steps. Uh, commonality, make it about them, open the feedback loop. Oh my God, this little thing. Uh, uh -huh. Commonality, uh, make it about them, open the feedback loop, um, a resume review, and then ask for visibility, not a referral. Those are great tips, Daniel. I tell my uh, clients or the students I'm helping, identify maybe three people that you want to speak with them when you go attend events, now that everything is back to in-person. And still some events are online, but if you're meeting them in person, identify three people, go ask them about their job, their career journey, ask them about what's the intent from attending this event, and then maybe follow up with them, build relationship with them. As you mentioned, it's all about them, not about you. And then, uh, and then, as we mentioned previously, if you identify those companies and you follow them, and even if you join groups, you're building a relationship. And when the time comes for asking for a job while you're graduating, you already have those seeds, you already have those relationships, and that will help you, as you mentioned, have a referral program or help you navigate the interview even. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Dan. Again, for the audience, if you have more tips in terms of networking, leave them below. And tune in next time for my final question with Daniel.